नमस्कार टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ए रेलवे बोर्ड लेटर इश्यूड ऑन टी डब्ल्यू एस पॉइंट रेलवे बोर्ड लेटर नंबर टू जीरो टू थ्री स्लैश सेफ्टी सिविल पब्लिक नाइनटीन बाई एट डेटेड ट्वेंटी नाइन इलेवन टू जीरो टू थ्री this is basically on uh, tws point layout for changing or replacing the existing existing old system where holes are drilled on the tongue rail uh, foot now we are replacing that with a p clamp assembly this is a diagram issued by rdso which is rdso s3454 alterations b issued in january 2023 based on this diagram there is a circular being issued which is basically a jpo joint procedure order this is for the maintenance of points and crossings and thick web switches and it is uh, a jpo being issued to all the railways by railway board key bracket is used as per the latest rds code design rds for s3454 alterations b which is given in january 2023 this presentation deals with the jpo for rectification of existing thick web switch under traffic block so we are rectifying or removing uh, p clamp we are providing p clamp in place of the old system of providing holes on the foot it is basically divided into three parts pre block during block and post block what you need to do in all these three conditions before taking block during block and after completing the block pre block works what are the pre block work that you should be prepared with sufficient supervisors staff and labor of both engineering snt departments shall be present during all the pre block block and post block activities they should have all their tools and equipment with them you need to impose speed restriction of 20 km per hour on point for all the preliminary works preparatory works like clearance of ballast loosening and tightening of nuts and bolts etc shall be completed before taking traffic block extra required material like disc cutters and drilling machines shall also be available including fuel and other such things measurements of all dimension of, of connecting rod and driving rod of point machine should be as per design and requirement square ends of srj on both the stock rails and third and fourth sleepers and sleeper number 13 should be marked as per diagram so the srj here you can see they should be in square along with the 13th sleeper on which sr on which ssd is also provided now coming to the work you need to do during block traffic block shall be obtained and cleared jointly by ssc permanent way and ssc signals specifying the time needed for engineering and snt if you have a block of 2 hours you need to specify 1 hour or 1 and 1/2 hour for engineering and at least half an hour to 45 minutes for snt works replacement of rods including p bracket so during the traffic block and disconnection when ground connection rods are removed sleeper spacing has to be corrected as per the standard diagrams from sleeper number 1 to 13 or up to ssd so what are the distances that you need to have is provided here for different sleepers the existing proper extension black or gauge tape plate with drilled holes for existing punch machine we need to ensure the extension plate or gauge tape plate which is having holes properly necessary holes should be drilled in stock rail and tongue rails this also we will discuss in the next slide sleeper number 3 and 4 this distance shall be 745 mm 
and between sleeper number 4 and 5 it shall be 492 mm beyond that sleeper number 5 it shall be 550 mm up to 13 sleeper so from here every sleeper will be 550 mm up to the 13th sleeper now marking of folds on tongue rail this has already been dealt in the previous video just for information i am again giving you toe of the tongue rail should rate as 32 mm from the center line of third chair sleeper so that 63 mm of tongue rail will rest on the third chair plate the first hole shall be at a distance of 40 mm per p bracket and second shall be at a distance of 285 mm for the p bracket the third hole shall be at a distance of 443 per clamp lock assembly and 513 the next hole will be at 513 mm per clamp lock assembly these two shall be for clamp lock assembly the vertical distance for all the above shall be 58 mm from the bottom of the tongue rail and at a di the diameter of them shall be 22 mm so if you see in this figure the first hole per p clamp is at a distance of 40 mm from the edge of the tongue rail or ats and the second hole at a distance of 5 285 mm the third hole will shall be at 443 mm and 515 mm fourth hole so you can see this distance shall be 443 and this distance shall be 513 mm the tongue rail should be kept at a distance of 32 mm from center of the chair plate so this will be 63 mm 63 mm will be on the chair plate going further stock rails we need to have two holes one at a distance of 450 mm 450 mm from actual toe of switch or if you measure it from srj it shall be 1592 mm the second hole at a distance of 530 mm from ats so first hole 450 mm uh, the next hole will be at a distance of 80 mm from first hole or 530 mm from the edge of the tongue rail the vertical distance height shall be 76 mm from the bottom of the stock rail and again this shall also be 22 mm dia hole resting of tongue rail on all slide chairs must be ensured with the help of a filler gauge when the tongue rail is in open condition so when the tongue rail is in open condition you should check out that with the help of a feeler gauge that the gap is not available and the tongue rail is properly set on all slide chairs if you the next coming to ssd fittings it should be checked through the diagram number given above the closed tongue rail gap should be housed properly so here the gap here you can see the gap should be very very less less than 10 mm while the gap on the other side the open side shall be more than 57 mm this is called the JOH junction of rail head the arms shall be at right angles this and this one shall be at right angles going further explaining SSD you can see that this shall be in a straight line first thing next this distance from here to here if it is a longer side it shall be 100 270 mm while the shorter one shall be 180 mm this shall be at right angles to the tongue rail and the longer it shall be provided on the curved tongue rail this has been discussed in a previous video now coming to the leaves of the slide chairs they should be properly inserted this is your leaf and this is your wedge this is how it is actually provided i have just showed you for understanding 
so when you provide it this will hold the stock rail properly it should be filled fitted properly leaves may this if it is not proper it may lead to gauge widening which may badly affect the point machine settings and may lead to failure especially you cannot adjust your point for gauge if this is not available and now you have you can provide mark for five pendrol clips at least on the outer inserts of sleeper number 3 4 and 5 so these are outer sleepers here you can provide iron liners and pendrol clips mark 5 these three sleepers you can provide iron clips uh, pendrol clips of mark 5 and liners also can be provided which are iron fixing of point mission and ground correction shall be ensured as per diagram so all this shall be ensured properly at the same time engineering people have to provide ms flat tie bar as per standard sleeper distances only already sleeper distances have been discussed previously so you need to provide uh, ms flat tie bar on sleeper number 3 and 4 on opposite side of point mission here you can see here this is provided on sleeper number 3 and 4 at the same time after you need to provide here also on both sides here and the other end also you should be able to provide these tie bars provision of metal liners from sleeper number 3 to 20 for one in 12 turnout and sleeper number 3 to 13 for one and half one in one in eight and half turn out so you can provide metal liners for all sleepers unless metal liners are provided your point cannot have proper housing layer metal liners are required if you provide iron um, nylon liners we are unable to get proper housing because of train movement to ensure proper housing and indication only new lock rods indication rods and throw rods are to be used along with a new point machine you should not use the old or released rods you have to provide everything new point machine and rods all to be provided new correspondence functional test from operation panel or vdu with sm jointly before reconnection is given so before reconnection is given all the safety checks that have to be done including correspondence test should be carried out by both by the snt staff after completing your works including wiring of snt department post block works what are they zero missing missing fittings shall be ensured all fitting shall be provided ensure complete uh, effective fittings renew all the worn out or unserviceable fittings recoupment of deficient ballast in crib and shoulder portion should be of standard profile testing of point machine for proper working for normal and reverse side from the operator vdu or from the operator panel or vdu so what are the different tests that we need to do on a point machine like a correspondence test then a track locking test integrity test all the tests that are required to be done shall be done testing of point mission for normal working shall be carried out for both normal and reverse side then packing by unimat wherever required shall be done welding of joints if any required shall be done you need to record the measurements and rectifications ats position to be marked at stock rail with a white paint so with a white paint actual toe of switch shall be marked to identify creep of any movement of the tongue rail in future in future if there is any movement of your uh, tongue rail or let us say stock rail you can easily find out if you have a marking provided the first train shall be passed duly following the instructions as per scm and gnsr thank you if you have any questions please come to me with the in the comment section thank you jai hind